Welcome to Cut the Sith Comic Book Reviews. My name is Comixor. I am your host, and today we will be talking about Star Wars Issue 5, The Destiny Path, Part 5, written by Charles Soon, art by Jesus Saez, coloring by Arif Prianto and Dan Brown, and letters by Clayton Coles. So, right off the bat, just want to say, I know my audio sounds pretty low. Originally, I wasn't planning to start this till January 6th, which is when the first issue of The High Republic comes out, but I've, I've read every issue of the current Star Wars book and the current Darth Vader book, and I thought, well, I should do those. I should do comic reviews for those as well, not just The High Republic. And Star Wars 10 comes out the same day as High Republic number one. So I'm thinking, okay, why don't I do both that day on January 6th? But then I, I got thing I was like, yeah, but I didn't do Star Wars 1 to 9. So I'm like, alright, I'll try and bang, I'll, re I'll reread Star Wars, I'll reread Darth Vader, I'll reread Bounty Hunters. I've only read like the first three issues of Bounty Hunters. But, and I'll bang up those reviews before the new ones come out. The microphone I ordered will be here January 3rd. So, right now, yeah, I know the audio sounds low because I'm speaking into my laptop mic. But I will have a like an actual professional microphone by January 3rd, so hopefully when the High Republic review and all the ones going from like the 6th forward should sound better. But anyways, back to the review about the Destiny Path, part 5. I love this chapter. I thought it was great. I love how at the start of it we have this, this cocky little asshole pretending that he's Luke Skywalker, which is RD, not R2, RD. Trying to uh, get some get some work as a pilot, going off of uh, the legend of Luke Skywalker. So we already know that his name is making legend around the galaxy. Is the man that blew up the Death Star. He's trying to get some work. Vader comes in, kills him, and says anyone that takes the name of Luke Skywalker is also taking responsibility for his crime. All Skywalkers must die. And then he tells us the lieutenant there. He's like, hey, thank you, lieutenant. There he tells the lieutenant there. He goes, hey. Don't call me up for these fucking fake Luke Skywalkers. If you see Luke Skywalker, it better damn well be the real Luke Skywalker. Don't call me in for these these fake wannabes. And then we continue on where we left off last issue where Luke is now traveling to find the person he's been seeing in his visions. He goes to the planet Sorelia. He finds a cloaked woman. And Luke, Luke's a little naive. I mean... We're talking, what, like, three, four years ago, he was a moisture farmer, and now he's a Jedi, the supposed last Jedi, and so he's walking on this planet, and he's just like, hey, my name's Luke, are you a Jedi? I think the Force sent me to find you. Like, not subtle at all, it's like, dude, you're gonna learn some things today, and boy does he, because... He chases after her, she goes through a cave, she traps him in this like underwater like sea thing. She's standing above the grate, the water's like filling up in his face, and he just and she's like he's like, dude, what, what's going on? I'm a Jedi, aren't you a Jedi? And she's like, listen, I'm not a Jedi. I I mean I like I may have been at one point, I may have the force. But I'm not a Jedi, and you boy, you're not a Jedi either. That's when you find out that Luke, Luke doesn't know shit about the history of the Jedi. Like, what? Yoda and Obi Wan have been horrible mentors and masters and teachers, whatever you want to call them, to Luke Skywalker so far. They've taught this man literally nothing. They hid from him that Darth Vader was his father, and they did not teach him any of the history of the Jedi. He finds out from this cloaked woman that the Jedi, he finds out about the Jedi purge at the end of the Clone Wars, he finds out about Orca 66 from her, he finds out about the Inquisitors, he finds out about their, their leader, Darth Vader, well he already knew about Darth Vader, but he finds out that basically Orca 66 still stands, and Vader and the Inquisitors are hunting down and killing any Jedi, and she knows a lot about this because the reveal is before she tells him the story she, she takes off her cloak reveals herself to be Verla 
For those unfamiliar, Verla was introduced in the 2017 Darth Vader comic book. That ran for 25 issues and one annual, so like total 26. That was also written by Charles Fool. Charles Sewell. It's uh, one of my favorite comic books. My favorite iteration of Vader takes place right after War 66. So right after Revenge of the Sith. And there's uh, one point where Vader, they had this list, these list of all these known Jedi and Padawan that they think may have survived Order 66. One of those Jedis is a Deveroni named Farron Barr. Vader and the Inquisitors, they track them down. And Farron Barr has disciples, force sensitive disciples. One of them is Verla, who was introduced, who Luke meets in this chapter, who the one that the force was guiding them to. The, some shit happens. I strongly recommend going. If, if you got Marvel Unlimited, which I do, they have every issue of that 2017 Vader run on there. Strongly recommend reading it. We actually cover that Vader run as part of Cut the Sith, the Reading Club, a couple months ago. So you can find us talking about that on the YouTube channel as well. Just highly recommend going and reading that. But yeah, Farrenbar does some cool shit where he, uh, he executes Order 66 and he gets the, uh, the clone troopers to end up turning on the Inquisitors because they registered the Inquisitors as Jedi. And they're able to escape. So Verl is able to escape. Farron Bar ends up dying. I, I believe the other disciples may have died. I'm not sure. I think Verl may have been the only one to survive. So she's the one that's... With, uh, she was the one that, during this chapter, told Luke about the Jedi Purge told them about the Inquisitor, and was like, yeah, why don't you think there are more, if it's so great to be a Jedi, why do you think there's no Jedi running around? Like, dude, you're the only Jedi for a reason. And she goes, that's why I freaked and ran from you, because I thought you were one of the guys hunting me, but I can tell when people are telling the truth, and I can tell you're telling the truth, so I know that you're not one of the Inquisitors sent to kill me. You're just someone who has no idea what it means to be a Jedi, and you probably shouldn't be a Jedi, because you don't know any of your Jedi history. However, when she mentions that the most evil of them all, the leader of the Inquisitors, is a man named Darth Vader. She senses something change in them. And she's like, what the hell's going on? Why do I sense something a little different in you? And then she like, uses the force, reads into his memory, and sees the moment where Luke gets his hand cut off by Vader. And Vader tells the Vader, his father. And she's like, oh shit, you're Darth Vader's son? And Luke's like, no, 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 it's a lie, it's a lie. And then she buries him underwater. And it just ends with her standing on top of that grate, filled all the way to water, saying, good riddance. And we don't know if Luke is going to live or die. But spoilers, we do know Luke's going to survive. Because this takes place before Return of the Jedi. We know Luke lives because of The Last Jedi. Lives a long time, so we're just going to... We're going to have to wait and see how Luke gets himself out of this mess in the uh, next issue. So, as always, like the video, comment on the channel, subscribe to the channel, leave some leave some cool feedback for me because I'm doing this for the first time. So, I'm learning as we go with each, vid each review. So, yeah, some things you like, things you don't like, things I can improve, all that. Any criticism is welcome but yeah like the video comment on the video subscribe to the channel follow the twitter at twitter.com slash cut the sith the instagram at instagram.com slash cut the sith join our discord it's filled with a bunch of star wars fans who talk all things star wars and all that information will be in the description as always i love you and may the force be with you